Hi, in this video I will prove this Qur'an, the Hafs version, is false and unreliable, and therefore the Islamic world is misguided and wrong for trusting it. Will you prove that Hafs version is false and unreliable? Wow, how could you do this? Let us see. Muhammad is quoted saying, Whoever reads Qur'an and learns it by heart, he will be granted intercession for ten of his family for whom hell was due. Now let's look at the comments below this hadith. We'll see there is a serious problem here. Its chain of narration is graded as da'if jiddan, or very weak. Why is that? Well, it's because of the presence of hafs in the chain of narration for this hadith. In fact, here are more comments on this same hadith in Arabic that provide us with more information why the presence of hafs in a chain of narration makes a narration unreliable. It gives his name as Hafs Abu Umar, huwa Hafs bin Suleiman al-Bazaz al-Qari. And it says, wa huwa matruk al-Hadith, meaning, and he is rejected in Hadith. Kada qala al-Hafid fi al-Taqrib, wa qala al-Bukhari fi al-Du'afa tis'a tarakuh. And it says, great Muslim scholars such as al-Hafid and Imam al-Bukhari likewise claimed Hafs is rejected. Next we read other charges against him. أخذ مني حفص بن سليمان كتابا فلم يرده. And notice here, وكان يأخذ كتب الناس فينسخها. Which means حفص used to take books from people and copy them and not return them. And more importantly, we read here, وكان كذابا. You did your show and say that you will prove the Muslims are misguided. And then you say this nonsense. Is this your argument? Believe me, you are broke. Any Muslim, just a student of Sharia, will listen to you, will laugh at your argument. First of all, you have to know that Quran has been transferred through recurrence from the mouth of our Prophet, peace be upon him, by verbal recitation, hearing, and pronunciation. Quran has been transferred through thousands of ways, through Prophet's companions, then through companions and students. And Hafs is only a way of these thousands. If Hafs did say a wrong letter in Quran by mistake, all Muslims would correct him. Secondly, Hafs was born eight years after death of the Prophet, and Quran was written through one year of the Prophet's death. Every letter in Quran is written even before Hafs by eight years. Thirdly, Hafs bin Sulaiman wasn't perfect at the science of narration of prophetic tradition hadith because all his time was consumed in reading and making others read quran so he isn't reliable in narrating a hadith this is obvious and normal as man could spend all his time in one field of knowledge then he participates in different fields so he becomes perfect in the first unlike everyone else in the second and this is one of his specialties at the first Islamic century those who specialize it and work it all the time in quran's moods of recitation Quraat, they didn't go to the prophetic hadith studies because the prophetic hadith studies needs the entire age for the verification of men and their defects and memorizing hundreds of thousands of hadith texts so it is obvious that Hafs isn't perfect in the prophetic hadith but at the same time he was outstanding scholar in Quran's modes of recitation the prominent scholar of the prophetic hadith Ibn Hajar said that Hafs not acted upon in hadith but he is one of the best scholars in Quran's modes of recitation these words of Ibn Hajar are existent in the same source in which you take information but you take one part and leave the others and I don't know why you didn't complete the sentence Imam Hafs is one of the best scholars in Quran's modes of recitation and all of those scholars that you take information from their books all of them agree that Hafs is the best in Quran's modes of recitation Imam al-Dhahabi said that Hafs is authentic an outstanding scholar in Quran's modes of recitation but in prophetic hadith he is just good and Umar ibn Balkhi said there is no doubt that Hafs is weak in hadith studies but he is a scholar with perfect memory in the Quran's modes of recitation and Al-Hasan bin Ali bin Ibrahim Al-Ahwazi said that Hafs was excellent in the modes of recitation of the Quran but in hadith he is not perfect the perfection of a person in one field of knowledge and his weakness in a different field is not strange. Uthman ibn Abi Shayba, for instance, was a scholar 
in hadith studies and he is the famous teacher of al-bukhari but he is very weak in moods of recitation of the quran the scholar al-a'mash was also leading in hadith studies but he was weak in moods of recitation of the quran so scholars could care about a branch of knowledge and spend much time and effort in this knowledge meanwhile they give less care for a different field of knowledge. Many leading scholars in the modes of recitation of the Quran in astonishing perfection were at the same time weak in hadith studies and can't precise one narration of hadith. And now let me explain to you the accusation of Imam Hafs of lying. Was he a liar? This narration to Ibn Ma'in is false, weak and not correct. This is a rejected narration. The man who referred the sentence to Ibn Ma'in is Ibn Muhriz Ahmad Ibn Muhammad al-Baghdadi. He is unknown. He isn't mentioned in the validation and invalidation books. Validation and invalidation books, Kutub al-Jarh wa ta'deel. They didn't mention him because he is unknown. And this approves that this narration to Ibn Ma'in is weak and invalid. No other one told that Ibn Ma'in accused Imam Hafs of lying. Yet Ibn Ma'in himself told that Hafs is the best who transferred the readings of Quran from Asim. And also you have to know the Arabs call mistakes lies and say that the man who makes mistakes is a liar. For example, Imran told the Samura when Samura said that if a man faints, he prays an additional prayer with the regular ones. Samura told him, you lied, but they should pray all together. So he called a mistake a lie. No one said that Hafs was a liar. Otherwise, if he lied on time, all could tell about him. And everyone would know that. In a nutshell, number one, Quran is transferred through recurrence from the mouth of our Prophet, peace be upon him, to hundreds of thousands of Muslims who are memorized every letter within every mode of recitation. And nowadays, there are millions of Muslims memorizing every letter of Quran within every mode of recitation. And they know men who told about from now to back, then to the mouth of our Prophet, peace be upon him, through the Hafs way and other ways. This way is called Ijazah. Number two, Quran is written with its moods of recitation, even before Hafs got born by eight years. Number three, Hafs was leading in the moods of recitation of the Quran. He spent his life teaching them, but he didn't spend as much time for the narration of the Hadith. It is an honor for him to have the blessing of God, as he cared about the Quran and its letters, letter by letter. Number four, I ask Allah to guide you, and I wish you return to your mind. And I recommend to you my book, A True Conversation with a Newly Converted Christian Girl. Its link is at the first link in description. See you again, inshallah, goodbye.